hot rock off the East Coast into New England is now being observed on a higher level because we've had a earthquake offshore of Maine, which is highly rare for this to happen. And there is some sleeping faults here that potentially might be waking up here. We'll look at this live map of the northern Appalachian anomaly and the central Appalachian anomaly. You can see the heat areas there. I remember just earlier in the year, they was telling us, and not even early in the year, a couple of months back, they talked about a giant hot blob that was headed towards New York, but is currently already in New England, which is Maine, which is where we're seeing this earthquake happen off of Maine coast. So we're going to look at the zones here that you need to be paying attention to because this depth of this earthquake was 10.1 kilometers. This means it was along bedrock faults. Bedrock faults is some of the older faults that has not been talked about in Maine at all, really, because they're so old, they're supposed to be asleep. But it seems that right now we're seeing more activity. As you, if you look here on EarthquakeTrack.com, notice this 2.5 that hit off Vinyl Haven, Maine. There is no other earthquakes in the last month, two months, three months. And this tracks all the earthquakes all the way from weeks to months. And it's because, like I said, this is a rare occasion for this to happen. And that's why it's such a big deal. And I was going to take you guys to the array system, observatories.org, ocean observatories, the coastal pioneer array. But when we look at the coastal pioneer array for New England, it's not active. It's not available for you to look at that. You can see here, and that's because they suspended the operations on this and they went to look at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is off the East Coast. So, but that's a little bit further off, which we have seen shifts happen there as well. So we're trying to get you all this information because we just had giant chunks of the sea a little bit further off the East Coast now being said to be flipped upside down. I'll put a link to that a little bit later. Now, in this area where the upwelling is happening as well is along the Appalachian Mountain Zone. You can see in Boston, between Albany uh, and all these areas. But the higher zones up here, which we're going to take a, a closer look at that map a little bit later on here. This is all the areas we need to be looking at because of this new movement, this new activity. And if you look at it in Maine years ago, you can see science direct shows basaltic pillow mounds where volcanic activity did occur. So we do know that there's ancient volcanoes that are dormant there. But this fault line here is right here. You can see on screen is a fault line not even talked about Kelly land fault zone. You can see Maine is right there. It's a couple of faults that are sleeping. It seems like the activity now is getting much more energy and we want to talk about that here in just a second so because we were told that this magma was coming up so what's happening here the earthquakes in new england they happen on ancient faults within the bedrock which is formed they say millions of years ago when continents collided the energy released by this quake though that just came today off the coast came from the continued release of stress along these faults and the question is what is the situation here that we're looking at now on all the situational aspects here, if we get more heat that is coming in to these plates, you start to get more stress buildup, uh, crustal deformation starts to build up. It becomes a situation where these faults have to release stress through this. And again, some of these faults creep. When I mean by creep, that means like they slowly uh, just have activity happen where you don't even notice it. But then other ones start to build up. They start to build up and then they'll be quiet for a while and then you'll see massive activity. So the fact that we're seeing this right now is a interesting turn of events. We were talking about the global reorganization that is happening currently, potentially moving even further. Now we got to go to the Mid-Atlantic Ridge because this is a very important thing that they talked about. Seismic images show major change along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. That's right off the coast, a little bit further off of New England and stuff like that. And obviously Canada, all in these zones as well.
So what they seen here, they could see the segment center. They seen deeper in the ocean where it looked like it was a little bit shallower going down there. And these mounds and stuff that they're seeing in the ocean is also, like I said, was seen in just the other day, the North Sea. North Sea is not that far away. You had some eggs found in Vantu Island by a volcano where they're saying they don't know what's going on with these eggs. And it's so much life down here that they're still intrigued by what they're finding. A lot of people thinking like, oh, is it some type of sea beast? We don't know. We could be seeing any type of things coming up in these next coming days, weeks and months. But we're going to continue to confirm information and get it out to you. Even the South Carolina officials have encouraged preparedness after this series of earthquakes that's happened. And it's common for them to have uh, earthquakes in uh, Carolinas, these small earthquakes. But the officials now have come out and said, you need to get prepared a little bit more. Now, I want to pull us into this map a little bit more here because the map that I was showing you is very important uh, that we look at this a little bit more because along these coastal areas, I'm pulling up right now, we need to be very aware of this, and what's going on, the current situations. So I'm gonna pull this map up a little bit closer here because if you're in this zone, you need to be looking at this and subscribe, stay tuned. So these were the maps that hasn't been updated yet by Live Science, but we know that if this is the maps, then you can see over there next to Maine where the heat goes into the water. This is where the earthquake occurred as well. But from my knowledge, if this thing is still moving, that means this heat map would be a little bit more red moving in. And they told you that, oh, it's not in New York yet, but you can still see heat signatures in New York as well. And if you look around the other areas, yeah, that's heat signatures in Florida, all these other areas. Keep in mind, most of these heat signatures will be much higher than they are right now. So you're currently looking at this as we break down the earthquake that's just happened along the main area. And like we said, the depth of it, you can see right here, it was a 6.3 mile depth. And that tells us it was basically a lot of people felt that it was on the intraplate boundaries, meaning that it was in the higher crustal areas. It wasn't like really deep down, but in that higher crustal zones where a lot of people said they felt it. I want to know in the comment section, did any of you feel anything here? Uh, and have you been seeing anything lately off of the East Coast? Because a lot of people who focus on the West Coast, but a lot of the big shifts are happening along the East Coast as well. It's just silent and quietly happening. Now, looking into the other scenarios here, this is the area where they said officials said residents, there's no need to panic and evacuate because they said, oh, it takes millions of years for this to happen. But however, these hot rocks are already moving. They're having activity. We're seeing the earth shift happen. Uh, a lot of people talk about the pole shift, which uh, in 2024 in USA Today, the pilots came out and said something about how the navigation, they had to flip because it was off in 2024 and they were saying that, you know what, uh, we need to have this reorganization of the navigational systems. I remember seeing this article on USA Today and that would speak volumes to the scenarios where we had all the airplanes or, or the pilots having situations of, you know, just in that last current months from 2024 moving into 2025. So this is uh, right here. We're looking at all these areas in the next coming days, weeks, and months. And if you want to stay updated, subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to get information to you. Now, one thing we can monitor a little bit more is the area right off the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. I think it's going to be very important that we look at this as well, because this is underwater activity off of the East Coast that is not really paid attention to much. They do have live feeds I can tap into and get more information to you about that. But... Like I said, the fees are not on off the coast where this earthquake just hit recently. Uh, and you can see right there, Bar Harbor, but it was actually on Villain Haven and again, Vinyl Haven, my bad. Uh, but again, this is like really something that's not been happening. Not of this is rare as heck. So this really speaks some volumes off the East Coast to what we're going to be looking at. Uh, in the next coming days, weeks, and months. Now, if you have anything that you've seen, like I said, and what do you think the officials know? Because again, South Carolina is in a preparation mode right now as we speak. 
New York is going to have a bridge shut down uh, and that bridge is going to be shut down for earthquake preparedness. Oregon is also going to have a bridge shut down. They're already building it right now. They're building a lot of this infrastructure as we speak. They're wanting houses to be retrofitted. Uh, they're giving out grants. So we are seeing an earth shift and tectonic shift. This is different times that we're facing right now. Uh, and as we face them, a uh, really important clip or video that I put out that is really sinking into the depth of this situation. And I'm going to throw it in the live chat right now, because after this video is over, you will see it on the left hand side. And you definitely have to click that because I'm telling you the way the videos have been hidden the last couple of weeks is just wild. Watch next giant chunks of seafloor just turn upside down world alert. That will be on the left hand side of the video. Uh, but here's what's really interesting about all this storyline. This zone right here, the general upwell has not been updated in a long time. So again, this is where the mountains is at. This is where Appalachian is at. And I want you to just see a little bit more about this Appalachian scenario uh, because this is very important because the Appalachian is actually the area where a lot of this rock and stuff is moving. So I'm going to try to pull it up right here. Just give me a second and I'm going to show you on screen what am I talking about so you can see it for yourself with your own eyes. So in this area, here it is right here. This is the heat zone. So all those zones you've seen was the heat zone. Deep heat zone may be lifting the Appalachian Mountains, a massive pocket of unusual hot rock buried deep under the Appalachian Mountains might be lingering echo of ancient tectonic shifts that split Greenland from North America. They're saying these many millions of years ago, and it's on earth.com. Deep heat zone may be lifting Appalachian Mountains. This also affects all the other areas as well as we said on the map. So again, if you're not even aware of most of this, give us a thumbs up so we can spread this a little bit further. We get out all the really critical information and insights to help you and your family doing this usually four to five days a week. Got a lot much more uh, coming, but you need to see, don't let them hide the video that we did just yesterday about the seafloor and the global plate reorganization, because this is going to highly really tie into the big 